Hey guys, hope you're doing well. For this special artwork for Remembrance Day, I'm going to draw a poppy with a lest we forget sign underneath. Let's start with a circle and if it's a little bit irregular, that's great. And then we're going to start with a line that comes up like so and a line comes down. Doesn't need to be dead straight. Bit of a curve in it is great and try and keep all these the same length or similar. So that's the start of our poppy. Now we celebrate Remembrance Day on the 11th of November every year to help us remember the soldiers that died in the war. So see how I've curved that around? I've got to do the same on these four other. These make the petals of the poppy. So four curved shapes that come around like so. And they almost form a cir circle for the poppy. Okay, so there's the basis of the poppy. Now underneath here, we're going to put a, a little ribbon that says, lest we forget. So I'm going to start with a line here and do the same on the other side. And then that's going to curve around like this. And then come back around. Now we need to make sure we have enough space for lest we forget. So let's start with the L, E, S, T, and notice how I'm putting a couple of little kinks in them, W, and then E, and then forget. Let's never forget what they did. F O R. G E and then T okay because this ribbon folds back and then comes back out we're going to draw a little line like this and the ribbon is coming around and then coming back the other way so I'm going to do the same on this side almost like an M shape there and an M here Bit of a curve, they all remind me a bit of waves as well. So lest we forget, and then we've got to have some little bits coming out from there. I'm going to colour in this circle with my brush marker. This is going to be black. And then I'm going to add some little like details in here. So some are going to be thin thinner and longer. Thicken some of them up, make some thin, longer and thinner, some coming off. These are irregular. side of this to create a bit of interest and effect. And then I'm just going to thicken this up. 